beyond the last mountain, the very last mountain, beyond the last Zeneca Zeneca tree, beyond the last woomph bush, the very last woomph bush, there is a vacuous, vacant prairie, the prairie of Prax and the tail of the Zax. One day, making tracks in the prairie of Prax, came a north-going Zax, a north-going Zax, and a south-going Zax, a north-going Zax, and a south-going Zax. And it happened that both of them came to a place where they bumped. There they stood, foot to foot, face to face. Look here now. The north-going Zack said, Hey, say, you are blocking my path. You are right in my way. I'm a north-going Zax, and I always go north. Get out of my way now and let me go forth. Who's in whose way? Snapped the south-going Zax. I always go south, making south-going tracks. So you're in my way, and I ask you to move and let me go south in my south-going groove. Then the north-going Zack said with north-going pride, I never have taken a step to one side, and I'll prove to you that I won't change my ways if I have to keep standing here 59 days. And I'll prove to you, yelled the south-going Zax, that I can stand here in the prairie of Prax for 59 years. For I live by a rule that I learned as a boy back in south-going school. Never budge, that's my rule. Never budge in the least, not an inch to the west, not an inch to the east. I'll stay here not budging, I can and I will, if it makes you and me and the whole world stand still. Well, of course, the world didn't stand still. The world grew. In a couple of years, the new highway came through, and they built it right over those two stubborn Zacks and left them there, standing unbudged in their tracks. <laughs> <laughs> 